Here we go, making Philly on, getting Aussies on, flexing, mmm, I've been serving, make it trendy, we look sexy. Here we go, making Philly on, getting Aussies on, flexing, mmm, I've been serving, make it trendy. What's up guys, welcome back to Sparks and Recreation. Uh, we have a couple announcements and also something we gotta deal with. Alice's Durango, the SRT392, has to go into the dealer for almost two weeks. We have a customer that broke down in Morrisville and it's under warranty. Well, technically what's wrong with it isn't under warranty, but I'm a good guy, so I'm gonna go pick up their car and fix it for them. This will be our first trip towing with the SRT and then closed trailer. But in order to use the enclosed trailer, I have to get something out of it. This car has been sitting since Thanksgiving. Time to fire her up, get it out of here and fix it so we can race it not far off because it's finally spring. All right, she's hooked up. She squats a little. That's a big ass trailer. It's a lot of weight, really. This thing has like an 8,000 pound tow capacity. The trailer and the car that's in it is probably like six. But it does look good. It's filthy right now if I'm getting stuck in the mud, but. All right, let's see how she toes. Sounds nasty. Gonna drop this car off, head to Morrisville, grab the next vehicle, come back. Uh, I'm gonna guess it takes a whole tank of gas. Um, our next stop is to show you guys what's wrong with this SRT Durango. Well, about two weeks ago, we were going through the car wash and Sebastian goes, hey, it's getting me wet. And we're like, ha ha ha. Uh, it turns out he wasn't lying. This is a 2021 SRT Durango, an $80,000 SUV. Took it to the car wash and it's leaking everywhere. Take this to show it. Look at all that soap coming in. Oh, oh, oh God. This is really gonna clean the inside. Really? No glass. The seal from the factory was not good and had an imperfection in it. So it's going in while we're in Florida. We're going to Florida tomorrow. We'll be gone for two weeks. We're dropping it off at Longley in Fulton. And they assured me it will be 100% under warranty and taken care of. And no, the car was not wrecked previously. We have picked up the car from Morrisville and it did go through basically the entire tank of gas uh, to do the three hour round trip. I would say that this vehicle is perfectly competent in towing. It has all the power you could ask for. It, it gets right up to speed. Uh, we were able to cruise 75 miles an hour. However, with this transmission and setup, the tow setting through the SRT pages is terrible. But it was literally getting like three miles a gallon and stuck in like fourth gear, would not come out of gear. So I just put it back into sport and it does what it, it's not dropping down to 1500. It's not gonna burn out the transmission. So if you have one of these or probably an RT is similar, put it in sport, not the tow. Uh, unless you just want to eat up gas mileage for no reason. Maybe if you're coming down a hill or something, but you can paddle, you can shift on your own anyway. Got this car picked up for the customer. Unfortunately, literally all it is is a freaking tranny line clamp has come off. Let's look at the car that we pulled out of the trailer. This is our 2002 SL1 Saturn that we've raced a few times if you watch the videos. It's basically a demolition derby race. Uh, this thing is all smashed up. I'm not too concerned about how rough this car is because I'm just gonna zip tie this filler neck back up so it looks a little better. It did blow the whole side of the car off. Uh, and then our other issue is obviously that's not supposed to be attached to the wheel still because this came off and I dragged it around for about 50 laps and it actually broke the trailing arm here. It's not even attached to the hub anymore. Of course, the weight of the car is on it. Uh, so we're gonna replace the wheel bearing and hub, put some tires on these. Is, uh, even though this got hit and flew about 50 foot in there, uh, we're pretty sure it'll still hold air. This one blew off, obviously, because, I mean, it's just torn apart. Anyways, it's worth fixing, because this car starts right up. It's been sitting for six months. I put the key in it, fired right up, and drove out. So. 
too good, of a, too good of a car to just get rid of. Worst comes to worst, even if we fix it, get the tires back on it and it rolling again, someone can either buy this off me or offer to uh, pay to race it. I don't know, I've got like three other cars, so I'm trying to couple a plan to get more people into the sport. This might be part of it. Look how bad that is. This thing's a rot box. Let's clean it up real quick. And no, we do not use the brush. Never use the brush unless it's on just wheels. And even you really shouldn't do it on the wheels either. She's nasty again. All right, let's drive it real quick. All right, let's look at some of the features real quick before we send her. So this is your normal uh, pages and then you can get all your apps on here, so there's ways. Uh, it has a huge screen too. Um, there's games, messenger. You can get on, do like uh, pretty much anything that you've ever wanted to do in a car besides for scroll Facebook itself. Uh, my favorite is the actual SRT pages. So if you go in, you can pick your performance pages, and it'll show you all your reaction times, your gauges for intake temperature, oil pressure. This will show you do an active dyno, show your G-force in any position. And then vehicle dynamics, it'll show like the steering angle at any time. You can also pick how much you want sent to the front, how much sent to the rear. Uh, you can, I think the most you can do is 75% to the rear. Anyway, so drive modes, we want track. So this is gonna put paddle shifters on, all wheel drive is at full, rear wheel drive as much as possible. Um, it does make this suspension pretty rigid and stiff, so it's not comfortable to drive in normally. To keep it out of four cylinder mode, I normally drive in sport. If you go in auto, it will get better gas mileage, but it does the multi displacement, which I don't like. So, to track, and let's drive her a little. So, uh, keep in mind that uh, we did just tow 300 miles with it, so the average MPG is down to like nine. Uh, that's not accurate. We have been averaging closer to 15 with it, just with normal driving, and we've gotten 18 on the highway. First thing about this car is the exhaust note is perfect from the factory there's no real need to even buy an exhaust system for this thing because it's it inside it's quiet but outside it just bellows it all right let's drive this thing and that's how quickly it goes 100 <laughs> uh, this thing is an absolute monster. In sad news, the Beetle is gone. I ended up selling it wholesale to a dealer in New Jersey. Uh, I put it up just for, you know, poops and giggles to see what it would pull on a online auction site, being that clean from uh, California here in New York. And actually somebody from New Jersey bid on it and paid my asking. So. Uh, goodbye Beetle, they picked it up last week. They picked it up at night so I wasn't able to get a final video or anything. Appreciate you guys tuning in with us here. Please comment, like, subscribe. The channel is growing and it's growing at a pretty good rate. Uh, between doing the Beetle series and doing anything I can to create some kind of content during these slow months of the winter, living in New York is so hard. I can't do racing, I can't do Hellcat stuff, I can't do Durango SRT stuff when it's snowing. Uh, so now that we're back into the season, uh, you're gonna see a lot of more content coming out. We are heading to Florida tomorrow. We're gonna to be doing everything from beaches to Universal, Disney, the Medieval Times uh, dinner show. We're doing an Ice Nine Kills concert in Tampa. We're, it, we're gonna be all over the place. And we also are gonna be booking some shifter cart racing. So me, my father, my brother, and the kids, we're gonna take some shifter carts and take it around the eighth mile road course that's outside. Like, this is not normal go-karts. Uh, stay tuned for that, and uh, we'll see you later, guys.